Hi everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen. My name is Alexis and today I want to show you how to make Grandpa's Sausage Risotto from my cookbook, Gifts from Grandpa. show you how to make grandpa's delicious sausage risotto but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like cooking videos and you want to see more like this one then I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7 a.m. so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as I just mentioned today I want to show you how to make my dad's delicious sausage risotto now this recipe is in my new cookbook gifts from grandpa which is available to buy on Amazon and I will link it in the description box below for you this book has been written in loving memory of my dad because I think that my dad was an amazing cook so I wanted to write down lots of his recipes and put them in a book so in this book are my dad's recipes a few of mine a couple of my nans and one of my grandfathers as well my dad also believes that everybody should have a home so a pound from the sale of each book will go to the homeless charity crisis. Now on to my dad's sausage risotto recipe and as I say in all of my videos I think um, this recipe is really simple and really easy to do and it was one my dad absolutely loved making during the week because it was that quick and easy um, and he got dinner on the table in no time at all when he made this. Um, he also was a really big lover of sausage and my son is as well so I told him that this was grandpa's recipe and he really loved it so this is in memory definitely in memory of my dad um, and I thought I'd share it with you today so here is how to make grandpa's sausage risotto so the first thing I'm gonna do is preheat the oven to 200 degrees and that's to cook the sausages so the first thing I'm gonna do is put a pan on a high heat on the hob and then I'm just going to add a bit of oil to the base of that pan, like a teaspoon. Oh, that's a bit much, but never mind. And then I'm just going to spread it round the base of the pan with my plastic brush so it's all evenly coated on the bottom. And then I'm going to leave this to heat up now. The pan has started to sizzle now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add four chopped spring onions. Um, in the recipe it calls for eight chopped spring onions. Um, the reason I'm using four is I'm only making this for Howard, Ted and I today so there won't be any leftovers from this. So I'm just going to make this for us three so that's why I'm only using four spring onions. So I've halved all of the ingredients in this recipe today. So if you wanted to make it for four people just double the ingredients. And now I'm just going to fry the spring onions until they start to soften. So the spring onions have started to soften nicely now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two chopped garlic cloves. So I've just sliced the garlic cloves roughly. There's no particular size or order to it. Just slice them and then I put them in here. And I'm going to fry this for a further minute or so now. So the garlic has started to soften as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, one grated carrot obviously if you're making this for four that would be two grated carrots and i've also got one grated courgette as well which i'm going to add to this too i'm going to stir these around until they start to soften as well and the reason i use grated vegetables is just because i prefer the texture of grated vegetables and also secretly my son will eat it if he doesn't know it's in there so I just think, for my own peace of mind, at least I know he's getting vegetables somewhere in his diet. So he's a bit of a fussy eater. He loves rice and cheese and sausages, but anything to do with vegetables and he's gone. So, but anyway, at least I know with this recipe, he's getting something inside of him. So that's why I like to grate my vegetables. I'm just gonna fry this until these start to soften now. So the carrots and the courgettes have started to soften. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add brown rice. Now this is a brown rice risotto. You don't have to use brown rice. You can use risotto rice or white rice if you want to. I just prefer, again, the texture and flavour of brown rice and I find it works really well in this. So what I've done is I've washed the rice through twice before I put it into the risotto because I find that it cooks better when it's been washed before um, before using it. So I'm just going to put this in now and I'm going to fry this until the grains of rice start to become see-through and clear. I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to keep frying this round now and I'll probably fry this for about a minute or so. It won't take long and the grains of rice should start to become clear, hopefully. You can see some grains of rice just starting to become clear. I don't know if you can see that, but they are starting to become clearer. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to add in my vegetable stock. I've got vegetable stock today, but you can use chicken stock or bone broth, whichever one you want. Um, and then I'm gonna just pour that over. And I'm also going to add in uh, a tablespoon of tomato ketchup, my homemade tomato ketchup that is, and I will link the recipe in the description box below for you as well. Or you can use tomato puree as well if you want to. And I've also got a tablespoon of tzmari, which is soya sauce basically. And those two things just give the risotto a bit of extra flavour and a bit more punch as well. They're really nice in it. And then I'm going to add a bit of salt and pepper. So you do this to taste. It's entirely up to you how much salt and pepper you like. Um, and just a pinch of salt for us. So I'm just going to put that in. And then I'm just going to stir those round. And I put in about 400 mils of vegetable stock as well, by the way. And that should do. And I'm going to turn this down to a really low heat and just leave it to simmer with the lid on. If I can find the lid. Hang on a minute. my lid. So I'm just going to put the lid on and I'm going to leave that to simmer away until um, all the liquid has absorbed into the rice. And so now all I'm going to do is put the sausages into the oven and hopefully while the risotto is cooking the sausages will cook at the same time and then fingers crossed everything should be ready about the same time. So I'm going to put the sausages into the oven now. So I've removed the lid from the rice because it looks like all of the water has finally evaporated and I've tasted it and the rice is really nice and soft and cooked as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a handful of spinach and I'm just going to let this wilt down in the pan. It's still on a low heat at the moment so it will wilt down quite quickly, hopefully. Yep, there it goes. And I'm just waiting for my sausages to cook. Once they finish cooking, I'll then plate up. Um, I cooked the sausages as per the packet instructions, so I think it was about 25 to 30 minutes on the sausages in the oven. So yes, and this took about 25 to 30 minutes to cook down as well. So that's perfect, that's brilliant. Everything has come out at the same time. So as you can see, my sausages are cooked and I've removed those from the oven. And now what I'm going to do is plate up. So I've removed the risotto from the heat and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to serve myself a little bit into a bowl. It's not actually lunchtime yet. My husband and son aren't at home, but I'm just going to steal a little bit of this sausage as well, just to give it a try. Because they just smell so yummy. It's making me hungry. That'll be my excuse when they get in anyway. Um, so yes, I'm just going to give this a try. So I've got some of the rice and the spinach and a bit of the sausage as well. Mm -mm -mm. I forgot to say, excuse me. Mm, really good. Really yummy. But to my husband and sons, I will be adding cheese as well. 
So if you want to add a bit of cheese at the end, then you're more than welcome to. So that's how you make grandpa's sausage risotto and that recipe, along with the cookbook, I will link in the description box below for you. And I'll also link the tomato ketchup recipe in the description box below too. I'm off to enjoy this now for my lunch with my husband and son when they arrive home. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. Do you enjoy sausage risotto? And do you eat it like this? I'd love to know. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.